Hi friends, in this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of spanning tree protocol. For what purpose we can use spanning tree protocol means most of the network engineer can design local area network with redundant link. That redundant link can occur lot of problems. What are the problems they can occur and how the problems can be overcome by using spanning tree protocol. Let's we can see. Redundant topology. In this scenario, this is switch A and this is switch B. So, fast Ethernet host server or host X can be connected to switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 port. And this is fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port and this is fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 port. So, the switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port can be connected to switch B fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 port and 2 can be connected to switch B fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 port and router Y can be connected to switch B fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 port. So here we can see host X can send the frames to router Y means first of all it sends to the switch A. The switch A will broadcast through fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and as well as fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. So there must be a redundant link. So if this link can failure means the host or server can send the frames through fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 this link. So this is an, the advantage of redundant topology is if one link is failure means we can use alternatively use another link but the drawback is broadcast terms multiple frame copies and MAC address the MAC address database instability broadcast terms here we can see this is switch A and switch B so host X can be connected to switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 port and switch A fast Ethernet 1 can be connected to switch B fast Ethernet 1 and switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 can be connected to switch B fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 and router Y can be connected to fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 port on switch B so if host X sends a frames to router Y so it can sense to the switch A so the nature of switch A the nature of switch is it can broadcast that frames to all connected ports so fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 can be connected to switch b fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 so it can sense the frames to switch b and switch b again sends the broadcast frames to the its connected port so it forms the loop back this is a main drawback of redundant topology multiple frame copies this is also one of the drawbacks of redundant topology so the host x can be connected to switch a fast ethernet 0 slash 3 this is switch b so the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 2 can be connected to switch b fast ethernet 1 and 2 and router y can be connected to switch b fast ethernet 0 slash 3 so if the host can send the unicast frame to router y so first of all it sends the switch then switch it can broadcast to the all connected ports so a and 2 can receive so A and 2 can sense the frames to switch B. So switch A 1 and 2 also can receive the same frames. So multiple frames can be received by router Y. MAC database instability. Here we can see the switch A can learn the MAC address of host X through port 1. This means uh, host X can be connected to switch A fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 port and router Y can be connected to switch B fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. So the port 1 and 2 can be connected to switch B port 1 and 2. So normally switch A can learn the MAC address of server or host X through the fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. So that frame can be sensed to uh, switch A all connected ports port 1 and port 2 so port 1 and port 2 so it can be sent to the switch B switch B again broadcast that frames to switch A port 1 and port 2 so the switch A incorrectly learn the MAC address of host or server X through the port 2 because the switch A learns the MAC address of server or host X 
through the fast ethernet 0 slash 3 but it can frame that frame can be broadcast to all connected ports port 1 and port 2 so in switch b it receives that frame the port 1 through the port 1 learn the mac address of server or host x by switch b and again it can be recorrected to through the port 2 it can learn the mac address of server or host x so again it can sense so there is a possible to learn the uh, mac address incorrectly